How do you deal with pain and hurt? Do you reveal it, conceal it, or transform it? Revealing your pain can sometimes invite more harm than healing. It's a harsh reality, but there are those who find twisted satisfaction in witnessing others' suffering, even fueling it. This unsettling blend of sadism and envy, which can significantly impede personal growth, usually manifest in various spheres of our lives, be it in the workplace, within our social circles, or even among family. However, within you lies a remarkable source of strength, a hidden power waiting to be harnessed. The art of transforming vulnerabilities into unyielding power. In this video, we'll show you 18 profound Stoic principles of Epictetus, the esteemed philosopher whose insights have withstood the test of time. But there's more. We invite you to actively participate in this interactive journey of self-discovery and personal growth. So, for the next crucial moments ahead, let's focus deeply on what's being shared, setting aside the usual daily distractions. Let's begin. Principle 1. Listen twice as much as you speak. Have you ever pondered the simplicity in this part of our anatomy? Two ears, one mouth. It's no mere fluke of nature, but a deliberate nudge to cultivate the habit of listening to the stories, pains and joys of those around us. Epictetus pointed this out when he said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Listening is more than a skill. It's a bridge to understanding. It's easy to add to the noise, but real strength lies in knowing when to be quiet, in choosing to be an empathetic ear to the world around us. By listening, we open doors to new perspectives, learn life's intricate lessons, and connect deeply. So, before your next word, pause. Will it add value, or are you just filling the silence? Remember, life's richest lessons often come not from our own voice, but from the stories of others. Principle 2. Don't allow the comments and attitudes of others control your life. Do you ever feel as if you are easily pulled around by the words and emotions of others? Each snide comment, each disapproving glance, tugging at your strings, dictating your emotions. Epictetus, in his profound wisdom, reminds us that in this theater of life, we have the choice to master our emotions. Why let someone else's negativity become the master key to your emotional state? Yes, it's tough. Words can sting. Attitudes can wound. But here's the raw truth. When you simmer in anger or wilt under criticism, you're handing over your power. You're saying, here, take control of my happiness. It's time to snatch back that key. Not with resentment or bitterness, but with the understanding that your peace, your joy, is yours alone to govern. Epictetus doesn't sugarcoat it. It's a challenging path. But ask yourself, isn't the journey to reclaiming your emotional independence worth it? Isn't it time to cut those strings and dance to your own rhythm? Principle 3. Be ready to accept the worst. Life's unpredictability can be overwhelming. Confronting life's uncertainties, we often find ourselves ensnared in a web of fears. For example, the dread of losing a job, the anxiety over a child's future, the heartache of a failing marriage, or the shadows of financial ruin. Each day, these fears morph, creating a relentless cycle of stress. Yet in this turmoil, the wisdom of Epictetus offers a strikingly bold perspective. He challenges us to embrace the worst, to accept that these feared events have already transpired. What could be more daunting than that? It's a radical notion, but within it lies a profound truth. By confronting our darkest fears head on, we forge a path through them. Our spirit, no longer shackled by the what-ifs, learns to navigate life's complexities with resilience and grace. Could embracing the worst truly be our gateway to inner peace? Epictetus thought so, 
urging us to face life's tempests, not with resignation, but with the courage to believe in our ability to endure and overcome. Principle 4. Don't be afraid of failing because it is the only way to progress. Imagine a world where your failures are your stepping stones, where every misstep is a chance to evolve, not just professionally, but at the core of your being. Epictetus, the Stoic sage, believed in embracing the label of a fool. Why? Because only when you're unafraid to fail, unashamed to falter, do you truly grow. True mastery isn't a lightning strike of genius. It's a relentless pursuit, a journey filled with errors that chisel away our imperfections. This path isn't easy. It's lined with frustration, self-doubt, and moments where giving up seems like the only option. But it's also where passion ignites, resilience builds, and real transformation happens. As Epictetus would say, it's not the spontaneous victory, but the hard-won battle that shapes us. So ask yourself, are you ready to fail brilliantly, to be seen as a fool, only to rise stronger, wiser, more authentic? Because that's where true excellence lies, in the beautiful, messy process of becoming who you're meant to be. Principle 5. Keep it simple. Embracing simplicity isn't about rejecting wealth. It's a choice to prioritize what truly enriches your life. Picture yourself surrounded by luxury, every desire within arm's reach. Yet, amidst this opulence, a question lingers. Does this abundance truly serve you, or does it demand your constant attention and energy? Wealth, as Epictetus wisely noted, is not a possession, but a state of mind. By choosing simplicity, you liberate yourself from the relentless cycle of bills, loans, and the ever-ticking clock of credit card payments. This liberation isn't just financial. It's a profound emotional and mental freedom. It's about finding richness in life's simple pleasures and understanding that true wealth lies in experiences, relationships, and self-awareness, not in material accumulation. As we delve deeper into the stoic wisdom of Epictetus, remember, the pursuit of wealth is valid, but its true value lies not in its possession, but in its purpose and the simplicity it can bring to your life. Principle 6. Practice humility in your life. Epictetus, the wise Stoic, knew that humility is a quiet yet potent force in our quest for knowledge. Picture this. You're on a journey, not just any journey, but one where every step you take is a step away from the loud, boastful pride of what you think you know. This path leads you to a realm where you realize you know very little, almost nothing. This realization isn't a defeat, it's a liberation. It's the moment you start seeing the world with the wonder and curiosity of a child, where every leaf, every raindrop holds a lesson, a story. Epictetus beckons us to this path, reminding us that the true essence of learning is not in accumulating facts, but in the humble acknowledgement of our ignorance. Here, in this space of not knowing, emotions collide. You might feel a pang of fear, the sting of vulnerability, and yes, even a touch of excitement. It's in this emotional whirlwind that we truly begin to learn, unshackled from the chains of arrogance. Principle 7. Be aware of the dangers of fortune. Understanding the perils of fortune demands a deep dive into the human psyche, where the allure of wealth often masks a treacherous undercurrent. Wealth, a double-edged sword, not only attracts the insincere, masquerading as friends, but also harbors the potential to warp our very essence. The transformation it brings can be unsettling, steering us away from our core values. The moment we grasp this coveted resource, we awaken to a new side of ourselves, one that we might not recognize or even like. 
This is the crucial juncture where the seeds of moral decay can take root, silently eroding our character. Epictetus, the great Stoic philosopher, warned us of such dangers. His teachings, timeless and profound, remind us that true wealth lies not in our bank accounts, but in the richness of our character. As we navigate life's turbulent waters, we must ask ourselves, will we let fortune dictate our values, or will we stand firm, anchored in the principles that define our true selves? The answer lies within, waiting to be discovered. Principle 8. Do not cling to a single hope. Epictetus, the ancient philosopher, knew that life's tapestry is woven with threads of myriad dreams, not just one. Why limit ourselves to a single hope, knowing the unpredictable nature of fate? He urged us to embrace a spectrum of aspirations, understanding that diversifying our dreams isn't a sign of indecision, but a strategy for resilience. Think about it. When one dream falters, another can take flight, guiding us towards success in its many forms. This approach is not about the Stoic philosopher challenges us to flip this script. He whispers a timeless truth. Real wealth isn't in the accumulation of things, but in the richness of a contented spirit. Think about it. How often do you truly savor the victories, small and grand, that you've already achieved? Instead of being ensnared in the trap of constant craving, what if you pause to acknowledge the abundance in your life? The journey to mastering Stoicism isn't about just hiding your vulnerabilities. It's about transforming them into unyielding strengths. It's a path lined with the realization that happiness doesn't wait at the end of a never-ending pursuit of more. It's here, now, in appreciating what is, rather than lamenting what isn't. Principle 11. Guilt is a trap. Have you ever felt the weight of guilt like a relentless shadow trailing your every step? This is a game we often play, a maze with no exit. We blame others, we blame ourselves, and in doing so, we find a deceptive comfort in avoiding the true challenge, taking responsibility without being shackled by guilt. It's a tough path, no doubt where the temptation to resort to blame is a siren call hard to resist. But think about this. What if, instead of being ensnared by guilt, we choose to face our actions head-on, accept them, and learn? The wisdom of Epictetus reminds us that guilt is a trap, a plague we should not let define us. It's not about finding faults. It's about finding solutions and growing stronger. Principle 12. 
make friends with winners. You know how it feels when you're stuck in a room with someone who's just a cloud of negativity, sucking the life out of the air? It's like they've got this superpower to turn a good day into a gloomy one. But then, there are those rare gems, the kind of people who light up the room just by being there. They make you laugh, push you to be better, and somehow, even on your worst day, they make everything seem all right. It's like they're the antidote to life's chaos. Choosing who you spend your time with isn't just about who's fun or who's not. It's about deciding whether you want to be dragged down or lifted up. So why settle for the energy vampires when you could be soaring with the stars? Remember, it's your journey, your rules. Choose allies who turn your weaknesses into strengths and watch how life transforms. Principle 13. Your reactions determine your future. Life throws curveballs and how we catch them writes our story. Epictetus understood this. He didn't just preach about choosing our responses, he lived it. Think about it, when life hits hard, do you crumble or rise? It's easy to play the victim, to sink into despair over a lost job, a failed relationship, or an unexpected setback. But here's the raw truth. These moments are not just obstacles, they're opportunities. Opportunities to grow, to learn, and to redefine who we are. They're the forge where our character is tested and strengthened. It's in these moments that we can turn weaknesses into strengths, transforming our Achilles heel into our armor. So when life knocks you down, ask yourself, will this defeat me or will it be the fuel for my success? Remember, your life story isn't about what happens to you, but about how you rewrite the script with each challenge you face. Principle 14. Fulfill your duty. Fulfilling your duty isn't just about ticking boxes or following a script laid out by others. It's about facing your vulnerabilities head on, turning your Achilles heel into a foundation of strength. How often do we shy away from responsibilities not because they're impossible, Have you ever felt the warmth of a true friend's support during your toughest times, when even your own strength seemed to crumble like ancient ruins under the weight of the world? Friendship, a treasure beyond the richest gold, offers a refuge, a place where vulnerabilities are not weaknesses, but shared human experiences. It's in these moments that we truly understand the value of a friend, not as a shield to hide our Achilles heel, but as a mirror reflecting our true selves, flaws and all. This bond, deeper than the deepest ocean, teaches us that true wealth isn't found in material abundance, but in the hearts we touch 
and the souls that touch ours in return. Principle 17. Always look for the good in things. Sometimes life can feel like a relentless storm. Think about those moments when everything seems to crumble, losing a job, for instance. It's easy to drown in despair, but what if that's your cue to chase the dream you've shelved? Stoicism isn't about denying pain. It's about finding strength in adversity. It's realizing that every setback is a setup for a comeback. You have the power to turn your vulnerabilities into victories. So, when life hits hard, hit back harder. Isn't it thrilling to turn obstacles into stepping stones? Principle 18. Let go of what you can't control. You may love someone deeply, but you can't make them love you back. You may work hard for your goals, but you can't guarantee the outcome. You may care about the world, but you can't fix all its problems. How do you cope with the frustration, the disappointment, the anger? Epictetus, a sage of Stoicism, taught us a simple but powerful lesson. Focus on what you can control and accept what you can't. This is the key to mastering the art of not just concealing your Achilles heel, but transforming them into unyielding strength. If you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable, subscribe for more empowering content, hit the notification bell, and show your support with a like and comment by letting us know the principle that resonated most with you. Two additional videos are showing up on your screen for further exploration of wisdom. Thanks for watching.